In Jacksonville, Florida, boating is more than a pastime. It's a way of life. And on this sunny December afternoon, these boating buffs are also football fans on their way to the annual Gator Bowl game. By game time, over 100 boats will be docked within a few minutes' walk of the stadium. There are no traffic problems, and what's more fun than dining on the water? This type of water sport is one of the reasons Jacksonville is the bold new city of the South. It's Gator Bowl week in Jacksonville. The social highlight is the annual ball for members and their guests. And the big moment that everyone's been waiting for, the crowning of the queen. Pretty Mary Devaney of Jacksonville won over all other contestants. And Gator Bowl president Nelson Harris Jr. does the honors. And there are sports activities galore. An amateur golf tournament always draws a large field. Powerboat races on the St. John's River, where the South's best compete for coveted prizes. And they're off. These outboard racers will reach speeds up to 85 miles per hour, which is fast enough on water in anybody's league. Of course, there are others who prefer the slower pace and challenge of the wind. The Gator Bowl Sailing Regatta includes competitors from the pram to the star classes. Nearly 100 boats participate. And even if you're just watching, all of the color and action make it an exciting afternoon. And then there's the Gatorama, the giant fireworks display that gets bigger and better each year. Taking national ranking with the best of the holiday basketball events is the annual Gator Bowl Tournament. This year, a fiery band of Hawks from St. Joseph's College in Philadelphia took all the honors and won the hearts of the fans as well. Washington, Florida, and Mississippi State were the other competitors before large crowds in the Coliseum. At the Gator Bowl, we're about to see the climax of the week. Penn State University, 8-2, and, and the pride of the East is pitted against a pass-happy high-scoring band of Seminoles from Florida State University, 7-2-1 for the season. It's a perfect day for football, 68 degrees and sunny. Among the early arrivals is Jacksonville's popular mayor Hans Tanzler and Mrs. Tanzler. Claude Kirk, Florida's first Republican governor in 83 years. Florida's distinguished congressman, Charles E. Bennett. The teams are coming on the field now, so here is your play-by-play -play announcer. Perfect weather for football as the South meets the East in the exciting 23rd edition of the Jacksonville, Florida Gator Bowl. Coaches Bill Peterson and Joe Paterno have both teams well prepared for this wide-open battle. Penn State, the Lambert Trophy winners, is the best of the East, led by quarterback Tom Sherman. This is the most wide-open playing football team in Penn State history. From the Southland, quarterback Kim Hammond will be tossing for Florida State. He'll be aiming for All-American Ron Sellers. The Florida State Seminoles are one of the most explosive teams in college football history. As 69,000 fans, a new record gets set for the famous Gator Bowl tradition of exciting football. ABC is sending the game across the nation for millions more to enjoy. Penn State will put the ball in play. Halfback Larry Green of the Seminoles starts the action from the 10-yard line. 23rd annual Gator Bowl gets underway. Florida State on the move. Outstanding quarterback Kim Hammond, a capable leader. Tosses to Bill Mormon. And the Seminoles pick up a first down on the very first play. All-American Ron Sellers, one of the nation's best, is on the receiving end of a pass. 
That gains Florida State to the Penn State 29. But a penalty has the Seminoles searching for long yardage back at the 39-yard line. Quarterback Hammond hits Lane Fenner. Complete. It's a nice catch, but it brings up a fourth and six situation. Coach Bill Peterson sends in kicker Grant Guthrie. Kim Hammond will be holding at the 33, but hold on, it's a fake attempt. And Hammond is up and throwing on target to Ron Sellers. But Tim Montgomery makes a defensive save for Penn State. Gator Bowl, first quarter, plenty of excitement already as Penn State takes over. Quarterback Tom Sherman does some fancy maneuvering. But the football goes up for grabs, and the Seminoles have it. Joe Kennan leads the engine recovery. No score yet. Florida State will go to work first and 10 at the Penn State 33. Green the ball carrier, but he can't find running room. McGrath and Johnson crack through. It's a loss on the play. On third down, Kim Hammond takes aim for favorite target Sellers. But Tim Montgomery intercepts the bomb at the 15. Typical Gator Bowl thrill. A Montgomery race back to the FSU 42. First quarter, Jacksonville, Florida's Gator Bowl. Penn State owns the football first and ten in Seminole land. Dan Lusick on the receiving end of this pass from Sherman. He's to the Florida State 20. What action? The next call to tailback Charlie Pittman. He jets down the middle to the six-yard line. The game's first big test for Florida State defensively. First and goal for the Florida Sunshine-trained Penn State team, six yards away. Lusick piled up after just a yard advance. Second and five to go. Tom Sherman calls the signals. Seminole Bob Menendez makes a great defensive play on Pittman, who is caught for a four-yard loss. Still a big scoring threat going. Penn State nine yards away. Sherman aims for All-American Ted Qualick. Chuck Eason defends to save a touchdown. The sellout crowd here today really enjoying the action. Fourth down, Sherman will attempt a field goal. His kick is right on target, and the Eastern Power Penn State take a 3 to nothing lead in the Gator Bowl. Florida State battles right back in the second quarter. But quarterback Hammond can't get loose from Frank Spaziani, and it brings up a long yardage situation. The bread and butter combination for Florida State all season, Hammond to Sellers. The duo gets back all but one of the 18 yards needed for a first down. Trailing three to nothing, Coach Peterson sends his team in punt formation, but it's a fake. Cheshire passes to Green. There's a big pile up and we'll need some measuring here. The chain gang shows that Penn State has held. But the Florida State defense is stubborn too, causing a fourth down. And the Nittany Lions must give the ball back to the Seminoles. Walt Sumner on the receiving end advances back to his own 44. Gator Bowl, Jacksonville, Florida, Penn State three, Florida State nothing. We're in the second quarter of play. Hammond takes aim for Bill Gutter. On target, but the ball goes flying up for ownership, and Neil Smith enjoys the interception. It's
It's a wide open contest and Tom Sherman keeps up the pace. A toss to Jack Curry. Nice grab. From the Florida State 14, Penn State needs eight yards. Sherman goes for the home run, but Jack Curry can't catch up with the aerial. Mike Page is defending. On fourth and nine at the 14, Penn State selects to go for three more points. Tom Sherman will attempt the field goal. But his kick is wide to the left, and Florida State will take over. But hold on, the Seminoles will draw a penalty for being offside. Penn State will get another try. Fourth and three on the nine and a half yard line. Sherman throws, Curry catches a beauty. Touchdown. Penn State owns a 10 to nothing lead in the Gator Bowl Classic. Florida State has a reputation for exploding and start with a toss to Ron Sellers. At their own 46, the defense catches up with Hammond. Joe Paterno's boys are well drilled. And now, Coach Bill Peterson's squad must give the ball back to Penn State with a punt. Penn State on offense from their own 19, leading 10 to nothing here at the Gator Bowl. Charlie Pittman finds plenty of running room up the middle. And let's watch and enjoy in slow motion a long gainer to the FSU 46. Just before halftime, quarterback Tom Sherman has mustered up another threat. Sherman does the escape act and dashes to the 12-yard line. An action-packed first half of play. Quarterback Sherman spotting All-American Ted Qualick. It's a touchdown combination. Penn State has a 17 to nothing lead at the Gator Bowl halftime, making some happy and some sad. The Penn State band is first on the field to entertain at halftime. They give a special salute to the armed services. High-stepping Seminoles from Florida State show us some psychedelic patterns. receive warm applause for an outstanding performance. 
It's time again for more football action. Quarterback Kim Hammond gets instructions for a comeback attempt as the Seminoles will start the second half of the Gator Bowl kicking to Penn State. A short kick ends up at the Penn State 38-yard line. Gator Bowl score, Penn State 17, Florida State nothing. The Nittany Lions going for a first down. But their All-American end, Qualic, is met by Tommy Warren. Quite a reception. And Florida State will take over the football as Penn State is forced to punt. First and ten Seminoles at their own 35. Hammond to Sellers with Florida State starting to move. From near midfield, trailing 17 to nothing, here in the third quarter, Bill Mormon on the loose into Penn State territory. First and ten at the 19. Hammond, a quick toss to Fenner. A gain of seven, advancing to the 12-yard line. Florida State is battling right back. 12 yards away from a touchdown. Hammond's choice this time, Bill Mormon. And the Seminoles are threatening three yards away from pay dirt. Seventeen to nothing, Penn State and the Nittany Lions dig in defensively. Larry Green is stopped at the one yard line. Second down, one yard away. Green again on the carry. The door slams a yard short again. Third down, still a yard to go for the score. This time, the Penn State bunch say no to quarterback Kim Hammond. Plenty of tension now in the Gator Bowl. Can Penn State hold? Fourth down, a yard away. Hammond doesn't make the handoff and Penn State is there to complete a fine goal line stand and protect their 17 to nothing lead. At the 13, Penn State moving. Here's Charlie Pittman gaining two to bring up a fourth and one situation. And hold on, Penn State elects to gamble for the first down. There's a huge pileup with Sherman carrying. Did they make it? A measurement shows Florida State owns the football. Gatable third quarter, Florida State at the Penn State 15. Hammond back and tossing for Ron Sellers. And Florida State gets on the scoreboard. It becomes 17 to seven in the Gator Bowl. Now 69,000 fans are set for the kickoff. The Seminoles put the football in the air to start the play. Charlie Pittman on the return. But watch the action. Chuck Eason and Mike Blatt hit Pittman and the ball goes flying up for grabs. Joe Benson recovers to give Florida State another golden opportunity. Seventeen to seven Penn State leads. Florida State first and ten at the twenty-two. Hammond to Sellers plus four. The Seminoles at the nineteen. This Hammond toss goes into the arms of Mormon. Mormon ruled down at the one. Quarterback Hammond loses little time getting into the end zone this time, and we have a brand new Gator Bowl game. Penn State 17, Florida State 14. Frank Lohner sends the kickoff deep following the touchdown down to the five. Charlie Pittman holds tightly this time and returns all the way up to the 31.
Only three points separate the teams now. And Penn State operates from their own 31. Sherman tossing. But this one ends up in the hands of Seminole Tommy Warren. And the boys from FSU come alive again. The Seminoles are on the warpath. But turnabout is fair play. This time, Penn State does the intercepting. Another win for Tim Montgomery near the goal line. The fourth quarter of play in the Gator Bowl with Sherman quick kicking from the Penn State end zone. John Crow waits for it and returns inside the 30. A 17 to 14 thriller. Florida State trailing and a penalty has the Seminoles needing 25 yards for a first down. A Hammond to Sellers pass gets part of it back. At the 24, a Hammond to Bill Mormon pass is complete, but it still finds Florida State needing four yards for a first down. That brings Grant Guthrie into the ball game in a try to tie it up. But the kick is no good, it's missed. And the cheers come from the Penn State fans. Penn State takes over, still leading by three points. That brings Grant Guthrie into the ball game in a try to tie it up. But the kick is no good, it's missed. And the cheers come from the Penn State fans. Penn State takes over, still leading by three points. This is the final quarter of one of the most exciting games in history. That's Pittman. But McCullers, Ratliff, and Warren are there to surround their man. It produces a fourth and seven situation. And Bob Campbell will do the punting. And what a booming kick, sending Tommy Warren on the run. A 68-yarder. Finally gathered in inside the 10. Not much running room as Penn State makes great recovery. The Seminoles, 91 yards away from a winning touchdown. Haven completes to Sellers for eight yards. Time very much a factor now. Second down and two yards needed, trailing by three. Larry Green circles the right side to gain the first down. From the 31-yard line, Hammond flips one to Sellers for another first down. Florida State and Penn State really putting on quite a battle. Here's Hammond back taking aim from the 38, but the charging Nittany Lions toss him for a loss. The Florida State threat ends. A punt by Cheshire gives the ball back to Penn State. The ball goes out of bound, and Penn State can win if they control the football. Pittman on the carry, piled up at the 41 in search of a first down. They measure and Florida State's defensive unit has gotten the football back to gain another chance for victory. Penn State punting to Tommy Warren, who advances from the 19. Hold on to everything. The final few minutes will be action-packed. 
from the 41, Hammond finds an opening and sneaks to the Penn State 38-yard line. 17 to 14, Penn State with a minute and five seconds left to play. From the 38, Hammond hits Lane Fenner, a first down at the 25-yard line. First down at the 25, clock is running as Bill Mormon catches one at the 14. What a finish. 29 seconds left to play, eight yards away, second and five for Florida State. Hammond aims for Mormon, but misses. 17 to 14 to score, third and five Seminoles at the eight. Florida State trailing by three, a touchdown would win it. Hammond for Sellers, the defensive save by Bob Caprito. Fourth down and five, eight yards away. Grant Guthrie, number 33, is in the game to try and tie it up with seconds left. The kick is on the money. The Seminoles have tied it up. Penn State and Florida State provide a 17-17 Gator Bowl thriller. One long to be remembered in Gator Bowl history of exciting college football.